What's up guys and welcome back to must have jailbreak tweak where I show you the best tweaks for your device. In today's video I'm gonna show you an amazing tweak that you must download. This tweak will enable stage manager for any iPhone. This tweak trolls Springboard into thinking it's running on iPad, thus enabling every single iPad feature is including stage manager, grid app switcher, floating dock, split view, slide over and more. This tweak makes it super easy to use apps and switch between apps as you can see. It also makes it super easy to show the dock over the current apps just by swipe up from below as you see. Just swipe up to show the dock and open any app you want from the dock. You can also get the grid switcher with this tweak and the best feature of this tweak is the stage manager with recent apps. This makes it super easy and simple to switch between your apps so thus allows you to jump from one app to other just by swipe right from the left side. As you see, the tweak works smoothly and it's one of the best tweaks I've ever used. This tweak comes with a number of customization options and now I'm gonna show you how to download and install the tweak. First, go ahead and open Zebra or Silio or whatever you are using. I will open Silio, go to the sources here and make sure to add this repo. Of course, you will find the source below the video. After adding the repo, go to the search here and search for Trollpad. And as you see, this is the tweak. Trollpad tweak, as I said, designed to activate stage manager and iPad only feature is on your iPhone. Trollpad stands out as a groundbreaking jailbreak free tweak designed to trick Springboard into emulating the functionality of iPad OS on your iPhone on iOS 15 and above. This innovative tool unlocks a lot of impressive features including stage manager, split view, floating keyboard, grid app switcher, and floating dock for your iPhone. However, it's important to note that there may be glitches. By cleverly following the Spring board into emulating iPad OS, Trollpad seamlessly incorporates numerous features enhancing the functionality of iOS devices. Each of these tools is adept at injecting tweaks into Spring Board, thereby providing users with the new features on their iPhones. Stage Manager centralizes the current app on the screen while concurrently displaying thumbnails of other active apps on the side. Moreover, Trollpad enables advanced capabilities like split view for simultaneous use of compatible apps, introduces a compact slide over feature for enhanced multitasking, and features the stage manager for centralizing the current app while displaying the thumbnails for a forceless window navigation. Okay, now just go ahead and install it. Hit install, press here, now hit confirm. I've already installed it. After installing the tweak, go to the home screen and open the settings to enable the tweak. Scroll down and open the tweak preferences. This is the tweak. The tweak is enabled by default. Okay, so this is the tweak. It has some options to customize. I'm gonna quickly explain all these options. So the first option we have here is Stage Manager. Here you can enable or disable Stage Manager. Stage Manager lets you work with your favorite apps all arranged in a single view. You can use multiple overlapping windows at once and resize windows to different sizes. Here below you can choose to use full screen or recent apps. If you enable recent apps, you can access apps just by swipe like like this. If you want to use Stage Manager, you have to enable it from Control Center. Once you install the tweak, you should find this new module in the Control Center. Just enable it if you want to use Stage Manager. If you enable Stage Manager from here, it will crash Springboard and take you to the safe mode. So make sure to enable Stage Manager from Control Center module and not from the tweak settings. In Display Arrangement option, you can arrange the display place. You can move it below, to the left, to the top, or to the right side. Here below, you can enable or disable mirror display. This allows you to arrange and drag it to the desired position. Okay, here you can enable or disable use AirPlay as external display and hide resize corners. Here you can change the external display content scale. You can increase or decrease this slider as you want. In missile miscellaneous option here, you can enable more features such as show shortcut buttons on keyboard, for resizable window for games, iPad OS app switching animation, iPad OS app switching animation, allow landscape, home screen, show app library in dock, and show recents in dock. So this is all the tweak settings we have. The tweak also has another feature is when you open an app, it will be opened in a small window as you see. You can of course change the window size from the right bottom corner as you see. You can change the window size as you want. This is not all. If you press the three dots at the 
the top here you will find more options as you can see here you can open the app in full screen mode as you see so you can use the app as normal you can also add another window to use two apps together okay i will open this app and as you see you can also change the second app window size this makes it easy to use two apps together you can drag and move the windows easily to anywhere if you drag the app window quickly it will be minimized the last option here is to minimize the current app window into the app icon and this is all the tweak features so this is the tweak while a lot of these features are nice to have on the iphone one of the big ones that have been a major inspiration to the troll pad tweak is porting stage manager to ios stage manager is a powerful feature that lets users set up workspaces on supported ipad os devices this tweak requires ios 15 or later to ensure compatibility with the latest system version it includes untested external display support emphasizing caution and may necessitate additional steps for optimal functionality the addition of a floating keyboard enhances typing convenience within the springboard interface notably troll pads features are exclusively designed to work within the springboard environment offering a seamless and improved user experience within the ios interface all features are provided by the system itself troll pad does introduce certain side effects including an ipad os style stitch bar a more compact control center layout layout merging adjustments in landscape multitasking modes affecting the left and right and the app library grid group occasionally going out of bounds so it's a really beautiful tweak that i recommend you to give it a try the repo is in the description below this video and as always if you enjoyed watching this video give it a like hit the subscribe button for more jailbreak tweaks videos and peace